with dictionaries. What do you look for in the perfect language learning book? Oh boy, you're just throwing the questions at me. So there are a couple of things you can look for in the perfect language learning book. The content is much better than a pretty face, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to get to know somebody, you don't want to know them based on their looks. You want to know them based on their contents. Well, it's not, deep. not their organs, but like their mind. So, so when you're first looking at this wider range of things that you can get to know, you're gonna see, how do you determine then which well, one's going to have good contents? You're going to see lots of big boxes like Pimsleur, like Living Language. Uh, you're going to see lots of colors. Typically, we were just talking about how language is like organized by color. Uh, and so like Italian is green, French is blue, German is red. Uh, and then like Spanish is typically like a yellow or orange. Uh, those are the biggest languages, at least at this Barnes & Noble. So you're going to see those colors. <laughs> Um, what was the question? So if you're not picking based on like prettiness and you're just looking in a store, you've never researched any of these books, how are you going to pick which one is going to have the best content? Uh, give me a language. German, because it's right here. Okay, oh, I'm kind of partial. And I mean, okay, so I'm a big fan of Langenscheidt just because I, I just, like I trust that content. I see it all the time. I see it in classrooms. And so like I'd probably be attracted to this book because I see a logo I'm familiar with. And so, you know, I'll take it out. It's important to look at table of contents because you get to see what this goes over. And what I really find attractive about this book is that it is both in English and German. And that's something I find really important in a language learning book is to have titles and subtitles and chapter headings in other languages. And this book seems to go over more stuff than my German class has gone over. So I could probably benefit from this book and I've gone to Germany twice. How much is this? Okay, but also, like it says... Freaking everything that's in this book is in both languages, and I love that. What language are you looking for, Abigail? Alright, well, I guess my main thing currently is Arabic. Because Same. We've started and we found, Arabic. we found this nice little book right here, Central Arabic Vocabulary, and the reason I think we were attracted to this is nice pretty cover and Teach Yourself, so it's a name we like. Yeah, I actually looked at it because it said Teach Yourself, and I really like Teach Yourself. Um, however, the Arabic section here is this big. Yeah, it's not that big. So... Um, I'm really, and also you gotta bear in mind that a lot of that section is one box. Yep. So we're kind of limited here. You do have so Arabic I for dummies. I don't though. know how much I'm gonna end up getting, if anything, here. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, I'd like to look in the French section and the German section a little bit because I'm working on refreshing those in the new year. Nice. Yeah, this one comes with a CD. Oh, oh this has a digital download. Oh, whoa. It's got accents. Um, some places it does. Matt, what book are you looking at currently? This is Arabic in 10 minutes a day. What do you think about books that claim to teach you like something it. in blank number of minutes a day? I don't like it and I probably won't follow it, although 10 minutes a day sounds very nice because it's an, it's an easy number of time. It's something you can definitely do. So if I was to make this purchase of $30, does this look $30? Let's see if that's only because it comes with a CD. Nope, this one's $34 and it has a digital download. <laughs> so I feel like I'm being ripped off. But nonetheless, it looks like a very nice book. Like if you look at this, I wonder if I can find out what- Well, so then if you don't think that's $30, what determines pricing? When you're looking for a language book, what kind of a price range is too we'll much? See. What kind of a price range might throw you off a little bit? Like, where what are you kind of like, looking? What I feel like I just did was I judged it, I judged it on the cover. Because this doesn't look like $30 to me. But when I look at the inside, I see what I'm really getting into. And this seems like it answers a lot of cultural, like, faux pas that I'd run into. And just, it goes over, it seems like a vast majority of topics, and it's very much, it's also... Although I really don't like those books that are like, you're a tourist in this country, ask how to go to the bathroom. Like, I really don't like those, but this seems like it goes into much more detail. Oh, also, the answer key is at the bottom of the page. That's something I like. I don't like in Teach Yourself or Colloquial, you have to flip to the back to find that, because I'm a lot of flipping back, flipping back. Um, update on this book. We've been sitting here flipping through it. It seems to actually be really good. I've actually, because I, I don't like the things that claim to teach you things in blank number of minutes a day because then 
that probably means if you're doing like five minutes a day, it's gonna take you like years and years. Year. And I also don't like the ones that book. say like it'll teach you in two weeks or whatever because yeah, that's not either possible. it's not right or you're gonna be doing like 14 hours of studying a day. Mm -hmm. And even then, it probably won't stick with you as much. So I'm kind of always put off by it. So I've never actually picked this book what, up. What did you just find in um, there that you really like? I like... Because I like it too. I just feel like it gets right to it. Like, you're you're starting off, you're learning, like, who, what, when, where, how, how, how many. <laughs> um, like, just question words, and then you're, like, learning colors. And I like how I here like it has you do colors based on flags of, like, places so cool. that speak it. So you're getting and some then, culture in here these? too, probably. And then these are sticky labels that you can stick to, like, your fridge or your mirror. That's so cool. So I like, like the idea of that a lot. I kind of feel like this reminds me of Moses McCormick's, uh, like, what did you do, foreign language road running, road running um, or his FLR technique, where he kind of just sort of throws himself in. I actually didn't know that's what that stood for. Yeah, foreign language road running. running. I did not I can't know that. It. I, I never questioned what FLR I only, stood I only for. Know I was it just like I the, the FLR Spanish method. One, but I haven't used it that much. She's shocked and I don't know what she's looking at, but it's in French it looks like. L'étranger. This is like a really book. famous French book. I have not read it yet. But How much is I it? Should. How much is it? How much is it? Um, we've never seen any books in languages in French, other than English except and for Spanish. the Spanish book section. Here's the Spanish. But this is an in this is just here. I don't know if this is like a dual it's not a dual language thing. It's literally the novel in French. I think it's <laughs> just the book. She got very excited when she saw this. This might be coming home with me. <laughs> How, how many books are we holding? Um, we're currently holding four books. Um, we got the two Arabic and Ten Minutes books that we're still looking at together. We got this book that I found in French and Which was like... We don't know the price yet. Um, we, yeah, so maybe not. And then we've got... <sighs> Teach Yourself German Tutor. Which, which she's been struggling with for a long time of whether or not to get. And I think about, she's gonna... About six months now. <laughs> every time go I go it. into a bookstore. I pick this book up. I carry it around with me. I stare at it longingly, think about buying it, and I put it back. <laughs> um, so, maybe. And the thing is, is I almost maybe. want to put it back, because I'm, I feel like maybe I'm just used to it, but Matt's really trying to convince me to just leave she it She wants it, and she doesn't want to get it, and I feel so bad. So, so what is it about this book that interests you? It looks cute, which is exactly what Matt told us not to do. Um, but sometimes it's alright. But I, I haven't even too. opened up this book. Hold on. We're gonna open up Chinese and take a look with you today. Yeah, let's, take, let's take a look through Chinese. It's quickly learn 400 essential characters. Oh jeez. But okay, like, just look really how cute. cute this is. It's like idioms and it's This is got actually kind of like Wani Kani. Have you ever used Wani Kani for Japanese? I haven't, but it's so cute. Oh wait, I this like actually this. looks really good. I like it. It's cute. It's not going to teach you as much grammar as you can learn in this thick of a book, but it's not supposed to. It's just cute characters. Stop. Oh my god. We are currently perusing the Japanese section, which I think I've bought the most Japanese books and, and never studied Japanese like fully, fully yet. I started, but then didn't really get to it. I really don't know any Japanese. But I buy books. I Basically, it. every time I buy a language book, I leave with a Japanese book. I don't know why. So Matt, Hi. Which language do you find you buy the most books for? Like, have that like language lust to buy books to learn it, but you don't actually get to it. Do you have that? Is that just me and Japanese? No, 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 no. I have that. <laughs> um, when it, buying the most, I think I buy the most German books. Like, even if they're books to read, like fiction, and I don't get to them, I would also say that it is German because I have so many of those. Um, what are they like? Perfect your grammar. Practice makes perfect books. I have maybe every book in the German series, and I've used probably like an eighth of it, <laughs> total. So, you know, I don't know. I really want to learn Japanese. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So I own like I own this learning Japanese kanji book. I own one of these books that I got from a library sale or something. I think, and I just own like so many Japanese books, and I always want it's to really buy bad. or end up buying. Like even when I don't buy books, I always look at like. I picked up this one, I think, a few times. I pick up other ones, and I'm always like, ooh, I can get this Jap, but I haven't fully studied it yet. So, that's me. I've seen this on Lindsay Dow's channel. So what books are we leaving with? So, 
We put back the Arabic books because we remembered that we actually found an Arabic resource that Textbook we already online. liked. Um, and so we have like a free sample of it. So we're going to do the first chapter in there. And if we don't like it as much as we think, we're not going to buy the full version. We're going to come back and buy this. Yep. And if we do like the other version, we're going to stick with that and maybe use that in 10 minutes a day series for another also, language that we want. The one that we found online is colloquial Syrian Arabic, which is what we want to learn. Yeah, and, we're going for like a specific book, dialect and we couldn't figure out uh, which, which which means type it's probably this modern was, standard. Which is so, like definitely not what we don't want. I yeah. want like Levantine, preferably Syrian yeah. or Egyptian. Yeah. And so Yeah. The books I'm leaving with are Painless Italian, and which I wasn't sure about because it doesn't have an audio course, but I'm just going to teach myself it online. And I'm getting her German grammar because I just want her to shut up about it. I put it back again, guys. Um, I'm getting this, hopefully. I need to see how much it costs. I mean, if this is, like, really cheap, I'll just take German tutor from you and finally do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So it is the next day. We are going to show you what we bought because we did it in the store, but then went back and put back the books that we were getting and got different books. Yeah. Um, so, what All are you right, getting? So I will show you my books first. I did wind up getting Painless Italian because um, Abigail had this argument where she's like, you know what, you haven't expressed too much interest for the language, um, but you have this urge for it right now, so now might be a good time to get it. And, she, and I thought as well, I don't have any other books, so this will give me one resource because I kind of like to jump back and forth. So this, like, if I stick with it, I'll stick with it. You know what I mean? So I got this and it looks really nice, so I hope I can share some info on that. I also got um, Berlitz Latin American Spanish for your trip. And I don't like products, or I don't like to learn a language just because I'm going somewhere, but as a polyglot, I feel I have a linguistic responsibility to speak some of it if I'm going anywhere because I'm going to Costa Rica. Um, so I, I know I'll probably go beyond this, but I wanted to at least get somewhere, so yeah. And then I also got yeah, you don't have much time before you go, so yeah, it's that kind too. of... I don't, have a too, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of time, it's like next month. Um, and I also got a Central Swedish Grammar because I'm learning Norwegian right now, and I have been for a while, and uh, yeah, I just... Swedish is very similar to Norwegian. I've talked to Swedish people before in Norwegian in New York City, and I can understand them perfectly fine, so I'd like to get the other half of the equation with Swedish. So that's me. And then, so Abigail... What did you wind up getting? So we were gonna leave the first time around. I was carrying out the French book that I had, that like novel. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't know how much it cost. We put everything else back. We put the Arabic books back. I'll say this, we put the Arabic books back. Because yeah, we didn't get the Arabic books. We had, we remembered that we had found another Arabic resource that we haven't, we got like a sample chapter for. So we're gonna do that. And if we don't like it, we'll go back and buy those Arabic in 10 minutes things. But we wanna try those out first because that might be better because it's in the dialect that we want more so. Mm -hmm. So we put those back. I was carrying out the novel that I was getting, um, but I, we didn't know how much it cost. And then finally we looked it up and it just seemed to be a bit more expensive than it needed to be. Mm -hmm. um, it was like almost the price of the German Tudor book, but it was like a really thin novel. Um, so and I she think realized she I wasn't can... going to be happy with walking away with just that. Yeah. So I think I can buy that book for cheaper or other French books that I'm interested in reading for cheaper um, and it won't be too much of a problem. So what did you so, end up walking away with? We went back. I put that book back. Matt already had Painless Italian. He picked up the other two things <laughs> because we were back in the language section. And I went and I got German Tutor. <laughs> Except we should mention, I was just going to buy it for her. Yeah, originally Matt was going to get this in Painless Italian, because he just, like, literally couldn't let me leave without yeah. actually having the book. Because it's been, like, it's a been good haunting six her. to seven months of me going and getting it and putting it back. And it looks really good. Um, So, this book could be horrible, but I feel so glad that I own it. <laughs> just because I've been... I'll tell you guys how it goes. Yeah. I, I have really high hopes for it. I don't even know if I have high hopes. I'm just, like, really glad that I finally <laughs> own it and, like... I'm content. So this has been so. uh, a language book adventure to Barnes the Noble. <laughs> we will. We hope to do this for another bookstore that we go to, uh, the Strand in New York City, because that has an amazing language section. Um, and yeah, there's also that bookstore in Boston that we should go to. 
So. Yeah, I've got a $20 gift card, or maybe it was more than $20. I don't know, but I've got a gift card to, I'm blanking on the name of it, but, like, big oh, language like bookstore. it's a German name. Yeah, it's, like, a big language bookstore in Boston. A bunch of you probably know what it is just by me saying that, um, but I'm blanking on the exact name right now. But I ha- I got a gift card for it for Christmas, like, two years ago, but I haven't been to Boston. So we need to go. Um, Except for one time, but I was with a friend, and we couldn't get into Cambridge, which is where the bookstore actually is. Mm-hmm. So I haven't been yet, but hopefully we'll go there at some point. Um, and if you, do that. if you so, have any, like, bookstore recommendations, or, like, places you'd like to get language books maybe for cheap, uh, online, or if you know anything on the east coast of the U.S., or any bookstores around the world that you really enjoy, uh, please let us know, and what, it, uh, what, we need a question for them. Um, you can answer what one of the you, questions that we asked. Yeah, we were asking each other questions, we could try to put them in the comments, like, put them in the description, the questions, because yeah. I was gonna ask... Uh, what is it you look for in a language learning resource? Whether yeah, it be book that, or audio course? Something else. Yeah. Go with one of those. Um, also, feel free to leave us questions for yeah. the next time we film one of these. Yeah, like, we'd love some. Um, just because then we can continue to just go to bookstores and talk to you guys while Or we if buy you books. have language specific stuff, we can go through that while looking for resources for ourselves. We can be like, we got this question from this person. Yep. I'm All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to record a podcast, so we will see you guys later. And remember, Practice Practice makes makes progress. progress. Bye. Bye.